So Spider-Verse is here. By the time you're seeing this, it's probably out or you're getting ready to see it. So you should probably know that Tobey Maguire was actually directly approached to appear in the movie. So let's talk about this. So obviously, if you've seen anything on the Spider-Verse, you probably noticed that there's a lot of similarities with the mentor, Peter Parker, to Miles Morales and a certain trilogy by Sam Raimi. Now, of course, there's nothing directly official, but we can all kind of click the pieces together. And recently, Lord and Miller, the directors, were interviewed and they said, we actually considered to bring him back. So, you know, you can kind of see what they were going for here, but they couldn't work out the details. But then right in there, they say, you know, if this franchise takes off, we'll discuss it in the future. So that kind of tells you what else happened. Um, they wanted to make it happen. That's clearly who the Peter Parker was, but they couldn't get it to happen. Tobey Maguire probably wanted a little more money, and it's not in their budget since it's the first movie and Sony was playing rather safe with it, considering we now know it was about a $100 million budget for this animated film, which is kind of astonishing. Bigger, like, than Venom, generally, um, when you, you know, consider how everything's clicking together. So that's a lot for them to take on, and I'm guessing Tobey, ever since his bad experience with 3, and his demands for four, which he didn't want to work night times, he didn't want to work weekends, he wanted his kids on set all the time, he wanted rewrites of the script. They were like, you're too hard to work with, we're gonna reboot this. It kind of makes sense, like, there's still some of that problem, right? Like, all the pieces start to fall in and make sense why maybe he didn't come back. But at the same time, they mentioned right there, you know, that was the idea and they wanted him. So, with that in mind, you could probably see how they're gonna. I guess make that something in the future, if that makes sense. Um, it would honestly just be kind of the coolest thing. It's like, oh, if we need to wrap up some of these stories or bring these characters in, you can do it animated. Or who's even to say you can do it animated? Because if you guys watch some of the recent interviews, they talk about the specific technology they had to invent to actually pull off Spider-Verse and how they were doing different layers of different CG and animation and hand-drawn and mocap and stuff. So they used a lot. So who's to say in another Spider-Verse movie, you're not going to get a live action version interacting with animation. And I think realistically that's probably the route they'd be willing to take. So maybe him and Andrew Garfield can finally um, do something again.